churches across West Africa, including Union of UNESCO and the Ministry of Education in Ghana, deliberate the monitoring, evaluation, and experience sharing towards the way forward on digital learning known as Imagine Learning, which UNESCO, as a global partnership for education, GPE, have support in development of Ghana education. According to the Deputy Minister of Education, Honorable John Intin Fodger, in his statement said, the UNESCO intervention effort will contribute to government effort in attaining great development in ICT in order to contribute to Ghana education. UNESCO and the Global Partnership for Education, GPE, have supported these countries, including Ghana, to develop. On behalf of my minister, Dr. Yawasir Dichum, I warmly welcome you all to Accra, our nation's capital. For us in Ghana, this intervention project adds up to several other UNESCO projects currently under implementation in the country, and contributing immensely to government's efforts at integrating ICT into our education system at all levels, from kindergarten to primary DHS, SHS to tertiary. I wish to express our profound gratitude to UNESCO for its COVID-19 education response that ensured continuity of learning in many countries, including Ghana, during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic. For example, under the UNESCO Korea Funds in Trans KFIT project, UNESCO has collaborated with Sandals and NATS, that is National, Ghana National Association of Teachers, to organize training programs for teachers on emergency remote teaching ERT techniques in four regions in Ghana, Greater Accra region, Ashanti region, Northern and Western, and recently in Salaga, in East Gunja municipality in Savannah region. The ERT has equipped many teachers with basic skills using online tools to facilitate teaching and learning more effectively. It has also equipped them with skills to enable them to facilitate teaching and learning remotely thereby preparing them to ensure continuity of learning during crisis situations. I'm happy to note that over 3,200 teachers have so far been trained within the past three months by Sunloss on Imagine Learning Platform. It is also gratifying to note that the UNESCO GPA project is building on the already established partnerships and collaborative efforts with our national institutions, particularly Sunloss which is the agency of the Ministry of Education mandated by the government to facilitate the integration of ICT into the education system across the board. I have also noted with satisfaction that the modules that have been uploaded onto the Imagine Learning platform were validated by national experts in each of the beneficiary countries, thereby ensuring that they are in sync with the National Schools Curricula. I commend UNESCO for its consistency in working closely with our national institutions in the design and implementation of its education sector support. Such collaborative processes ensure that interventions are in alignment with the government policies and priority areas, especially Ghana's Education Strategic Plan, ESP, which spans from 2018 to 2030. It also helps in building the capacity of our national institutions and agencies to ensure long-term sustainability of the project results. I wish to mention that our government is keen on leveraging ICT to enhance access to quality education in our country. That is why we have recently launched the One Teacher, One Laptop initiative through which all public school teachers from kindergarten, primary, GHS and SHS teachers are provided each with laptop computers to enable them facilitate teaching and learning in a more effective way, thereby improving learning outcomes. Our government is determined to make education system resilient to withstand any unforeseeable crisis in the future. Once again, on behalf of Dr. Oserichum, the Minister for Education, and on behalf of the press. Speaking at the event was the director for UNESCO, Higba, 
Ms. Yumiko Yokoseki said the APAC mandate is to develop teachers across Africa in teachers policy, technical cooperation, and research through partnership with African countries across continent. Institute of UNESCO based in Addis Ababa, capital of Africa, where the African Union and the UN Economic Commission for Africa headquarters are. This is also a very town where Mr. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General, started his international career as a young officer for the UN. So we have a lot in common. ICBA's mandate is teacher development in Africa. We work on teacher policy, teacher cooperation, uh, technical cooperation, and the research. We work with all African countries in the continent. That makes 54 countries and one entity, so a total of 55. Now, this GPE, a uh, UNESCO project, it has been said, so I wouldn't say very much. It has three um, interventions. Number one, the adaptation, scaling up, and the rapidly deploying a regional platform for distance and blended learning. Secondly, strengthening a regional cooperation and the pooling resources for the development and diversification of educational resources. Number three, training of teachers and relevant educational personnel. ICBA was requested to handle the teacher training component of this project and we were very happy with it. Now, we about the modules, ICBA first produced 10 modules on a seven subject based uh, track and uh, three generic ones. These 10 modules were then validated by subject experts 20 from uh, each of the five countries, two per subject modules. The 10 modules were now uh, in a platform developed for the project. It will be um, launched on Thursday. And it is called Imagine Learning Africa. I love this name. As per the plan, 1,000 teachers were expected to register and take the course. After completing the course, courses, those teachers were expected to take the final exam and if they score the minimum cut of points, they can get the certificate, digital certificate from the system. The certificates are signed by director of um, Abuja Regional Office and myself. So far, 21,632 teachers were enrolled in the five countries. This is more than we were planned. So I call to all of you. This is really a remarkable uh, achievement. Uh, Ghana had 4,007 teachers enrolled, Liberia 795, Nigeria 10,534, Sierra Leone 1,104, and the Gambia 5,194. So we are above what we are supposed to have done. Now, the certificates were given to uh, 9,778 teachers. So we have uh, about 300 to go. Ghana, 2,507. Liberia, 293. Nigeria, 3,263. Sierra Leone, 852. The Gambia, 2,854. So I am sure by the end of uh, this week, we will be reaching, as we speak, a number of teachers are completing the course and uh, passing the exams. This workshop was planned because we were doing so well, we thought we would share our experiences and also listen to the teachers. I'm so happy to see some teachers and the female teachers are here today. So thank you very much. So this workshop, we are going to achieve the following to share experiences, challenges, and good lessons learned and the promising approaches among the five uh, beneficiary countries, especially from teachers. And number two, to monitor and evaluate the project by virtually contacting the train, train the teachers. And number three, to conduct a ministerial presentation of the Imagine Learning Africa platform. COVID-19, was a devastating experience for schools and teachers. However, we managed to use this crisis 
to advance digital learning of teachers and to implement continuous professional development. This is very important, continuous professional development of teachers. Teachers are learning profession. Teachers are teaching, but at the same time learning themselves. So this is very fitting. I'm quite confident that we will learn a lot from the experiences sharing and improve our future intervention in the continent. So you are spearheading for other countries in the continent. Thank you very much. Yeah,